Hello everyone, today let's learn how to calculate the range and coefficient of range for group data. So in this example, here is the class interval column, this is the frequency column. Now range tells us how much the data is spread out. Now the formula is range equal to L minus S where L is the largest observation and S is the smallest observation. That means range is the largest observation minus the smallest observation. Now friends, for group data, we don't know what is the actual largest observation and smallest observation because all the observations are grouped in these class intervals. So how do we find range in such a case? Well, firstly, let's ensure that all the class intervals are arranged in ascending order like this. Okay, then what we need to do is just take the last class interval that is here it's 60 to 70. So what is the upper limit? Yes, it is 70. Now is there any data which will be more than 70 over here? Definitely not, right? It will be all less than or equal to 70. So can we say that 70 is the largest observation? Yes, we can definitely say. So we'll write L or the largest observation as 70. Now friends, let's come to the first class interval, 10 to 20. What is the lower limit? Yes, it is 10. So will there be any data which will be lesser than 10? Not at all, right? So we can say that 10 is the smallest observation or S. So what is range? Now it's very easy to calculate. It is L minus S that is 70 minus 10 which is 60. So range for this data is 60. I hope you got this. Now friends, there is also coefficient of range. Well, what is it? It's very easy. It is L minus S divided by L plus S. So the same largest observation, smallest observation, we need to substitute over here, but it's a ratio. So let's find it out. We know it's 70 minus 10 divided by 70 plus 10. So here it will be 60 by 80. Now definitely I think we can take out the zeros, 6 by 8. And this will go in two stables, so we will get 3 by 4, which is uh, 0 0.75. So the coefficient of range over here is 0 0.75. So friends, this is how we can calculate range and coefficient of range for group data. So friends, for practice, uh, do try out this question. Find out the range and coefficient of range for this group data and let me know your answers in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, do like and share. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments and your feedback in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.